welcome. Do you like listening to stories? I'm sure you all love to. Another question. Have you seen a dog anywhere around? I'm sure you all have seen dogs. And today I'm going to tell you an interesting story about a dog. Would you like to listen? So here I go. Now, once upon a time, there was a dog. He was very, very hungry. He went to search for food. Now, what do I mean by the word search? Search means to look for something. Don't you look for your pencil, your book, your erasers when you lose them? So, that is the meaning of the word search. He looked around for a long time. Just then, he saw a juicy bone at a butcher's shop. Now, who is a butcher? A person who sells animal meat is called a butcher. Meat of goats, meat of hen. Now, a person who sells that is called a butcher. The dog grabbed the bone and ran away. What do I mean by the word grabbed? To hold something tight and suddenly. So now this dog grabbed the bone. On his way, he came to a lake. Now what is a lake? A lake is water, a body of water which is covered by land on all the other sides. I'm sure you have all seen a lake. It had a bridge over it. Bridge, we all understand the meaning of the bridge, correct? The dog walked onto the bridge. Just then, he looked into the lake. The water in the lake was still. Now, still means that the water did not have waves and it was not moving with great speed. It was just still. He looked at the water and what did he see? What did the dog see? He saw another dog inside. This dog had a bone too. The dog didn't know that he was looking at his own reflection. Now, what do I mean by the word reflection? Reflection is an image of your face or body that you see when you look at yourself in the mirror or maybe sometimes at a glass, right? You stand in the mirror and you brush, stand in front of the mirror, you brush your hair, you powder your face. You, you see yourself. So that is your own reflection. Now this dog also had seen his reflection in the water. He thought it was another dog. The other dog's bone looked bigger and more juicier. The greedy dog wanted that bone too. He said, if I get that bone too, then I can have Two bones. He was being a little greedy, right? The dog bent over the bridge. He opened his mouth to grab the other dog's bone. Alas, the bone fell into the water. At first, the dog was puzzled. What do you mean by the word puzzled? He could not understand what had just happened. He looked into the lake again. But now, he had no bone. The dog also in the lake had no bone. And he himself also had no bone either. How silly of me, thought the dog. He understood that he was looking at himself. The dog shook his head sadly. He went to look for a meal once again. He had lost his bone. He was hungry. So he had to search for food again. Right? So this dog was a foolish dog. 
Now children, did you like the story? And most important, did you learn something from the story? Think, think, think. From the story, we have learned that we must never ever be greedy. We must be happy with whatever we have and we must never want for more and more. Just like this foolish dog, we must never be foolish. So students, I hope you have liked today's story. Bye, till we meet again.